Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. To achieve a high score in IELTS Academic Writing Task 1, you first need to understand the task. And that's what this video is all about. It covers all the basics you need to know, including key information, an overview of the task, assessment and marking criteria, the seven types of questions, and lots of sample questions. We'll begin with the key information it's essential for you to know. First, you're required to write 150 words or more. If you write less than 150 words, you are unlikely to get more than a band 5 for task achievement, as you won't have fulfilled the marking criteria. Second, you have around 20 minutes to plan and write your essay. Third, you should use a formal writing style. And fourth, Task 1 contributes half as many marks to your score as Task 2, so Task 1 is worth 33% of the total mark of the writing test. Now on to an overview of Task 1. You'll be presented with one of these graphics, a bar chart, a line graph, a table chart, a pie chart, a process diagram or a map. You could also get a question that includes two different types of graphics, for example a bar chart and a table, or a line graph and a pie chart. These are called multiple graph questions. For the task, you must write a short report about the main features of the graphic. So for example, you may be asked to summarise data, describe the stages of a process, explain how something works, or describe an object or event. The format of the question will always be the same. It will include a brief description of the graphic, the instructions, and the graphic itself, that is the chart, the graph, the table, or whatever it might be. Here's a typical question. The highlighted words are always the same no matter what type of question you get. The line graph below shows the consumption of three different types of fast food in Britain from 1970 to 1990. Summarise the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. With the format of the question always the same, this means that you can use the same basic method and essay structure to write any essay for IELTS Academic Writing Task 1. We'll be looking at a model method and structure in the lesson on planning an IELTS Academic Writing Task 1 essay. I put a link to this lesson on the website in the notes below this video. As with all parts of the IELTS exam, Task 1 is marked according to four criteria. These are Task Achievement, which is appropriate response to the task, Cohesion and Coherence, the ability to present a well-structured essay, Lexical resource, or vocabulary, which is the ability to use a range of appropriate vocabulary and to use it correctly. And grammatical range and accuracy, the ability to use grammar correctly and to use a range of grammar forms. Each carries 25% of the marks. I created separate lessons on vocabulary and grammar for task 1. So in this video, we'll look in detail at just the marking criteria for task achievement and coherence and cohesion. We're going to focus on bands 6 to 8, as these are the levels most students are aiming for. On this slide and the next are tables of the official marking criteria for task achievement and coherence and cohesion. Pause the video if you want to read through them. Don't worry if the detail seems rather complex. If you follow my advice in all the lessons on how to write essays for Academic Writing Task 1, you'll be able to meet these criteria and get a good score. Now we're going to look briefly at the different types of questions for Academic Writing Task 1 and a sample question for each. The biggest challenge for many students is that they're not used to working with charts, graphs and tables and don't know how to interpret this type of data. Don't worry about this for now, as I'm going to show you how in step-by-step -step lessons for each question type. You'll find links to these additional lessons on the website, plus the video lessons, in the notes below. 
In this video, I just want to familiarise you with the question structure and the different types of graphics you might get. First, a reminder of the seven question types. Bar charts, line graphs, table charts, pie charts, process diagrams, maps and multiple graphs. Bar charts or bar graphs are very common task one questions. The data can be presented vertically, as in this example, or horizontally. Here's a typical question. The bar chart below shows numbers of seals, whales and dolphins recorded in the Gomez Straits from 2006 to 2018. Summarise the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Every question will be followed by the words write at least 150 words. Line graphs are also common in task 1. They are easier to interpret than they may look at first sight, as I show you in the lesson on line graphs. The question for this one is, the graph below shows the population for India and China since the year 2000 and predicts the population growth until 2050. Summarise the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Tables also come up regularly. Some students find these the hardest to interpret as they're just a set of numbers with no visual representation. However, they're never very complicated. Remember, the IELTS exam is designed to test your language skills, not your mathematics ability. This is the question. The tables below give information about the world population and distribution in 1950 and 2000, with an estimate of the situation in 2050. Summarise the information by selecting and reporting the main features, and make comparisons where relevant. Although pie charts are not quite as common as bar charts and line graphs, you need to know how to answer this type of question in case you do get one. They are just another way of visually presenting data. Here's the question. I'll just read the description sentence, as you should now be familiar with the instruction sentence. The chart below shows the reasons why people travel to work by bicycle or by car. Another less frequent question type is the process diagram. It could be a natural process, such as the water cycle, a manufacturing process, or the diagram of a system, such as the central heating system of a house. As before, the first sentence of the question describes the graphic. The diagrams below show a structure that is used to generate electricity from wave power. You could also get a map question. It will most likely ask you to compare two or three maps of a place over a period of time, as in this question. The diagrams below show the changes that have taken place at Queen Mary Hospital since its construction in 1960. Multiple graph questions have more than one type of diagram and are fairly common. They usually include two diagrams such as a bar chart and a line graph or a pie chart and a table, as in the sample question. The diagrams below give information on transport and car use in Edmonton. Now that you have a better understanding of IELTS Academic Writing Task 1 and are familiar with the seven different question types, you're ready to learn how to write a Task 1 essay. Just follow the link below to the main Academic Task 1 page on the website to see all the individual lessons available, or search my YouTube channel. I recommend that you watch the Task 1 planning videos next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.